All right, so we are back here on Borderlands 3 again with another video. Today we are going to be talking about the best overall build with Flak. Now this build both includes mobbing as well as boss fighting. In this build I will go over the skill tree, the guns and weapons I use, and that's it. Starting it off with, because I rely heavily on Fade Away. Very great ability. Turn visible, can originally fire three shots while cloaked, automatic crit. Over here, every shot's a crit, along with increased critical hit damage every three shots. So if you're using a multiple projectile gun, this increases the damage significantly. So, starting with self-repair system, it's a 1.5 health, max health per second, and I get an extra 30% health. This, very good. And time, many times I find mobbing or boss fighting, I will go down, but this just helps you live longer. Moving on to Furious Attack, whenever I shoot someone, I gain increased stacks of fierce attack which increase my handling and gun damage and right now it's at 0.8 percent per stack and i can get 10 of them so that's an extra eight percent of damage moving on i just threw one point in here just because why not whenever i kill an enemy or whenever my little guy kills an enemy it reduces the cool time simple as that this one on my bffs i like to keep my pet alive to revive me quite often so I'm currently sharing 33% of my health regeneration, and that also takes an effect when I go play multiplayer with other people. On to this one, I mean, depends if you want more damage and less healing, you could take some from here, you know, and put them into these two builds, maybe take one from there, put it in there. But every time you reload, you get extra fire rate, and then you just, in general, you get increased fire rate. So right now I'm currently at 6, and it would be able to go to 10% fire rate increase if I had it maxed out. Moving on to lick the wounds, probably one of the best things in this game, is my spider will attempt to revive me. So every time I go down, boss fight, mob, and whatever, he can usually take a revive unless it's a really hard boss. Going on this one, pretty important, tail, turn tail and run. While moving, I regenerate health and gain damage reduction. When staying still, I gain gun damage and fire rate. So with this maxed out, I get 9% of my max health a second and a 17% damage reduction. That's pretty good. All the while, if I stand still, I get 25% increased damage and 12% fire rate. I like to switch back from uh, my jabber right here for the movement speed, because I'll show you the movement speed build I have with this, and the critical hit damage increased. Otherwise, the other one, gives me health regeneration and more damage reduction for even more sustainability. All right, moving on to the Fast and the Furious. This is one of my favorite abilities. It is while above half health, flat gains, gun damage, and movement speed increased. It's because I have my plus two in here. I have an extra 42% gun damage and an extra 16% movement speed. Combined with that, that's another 20 something and then the shield that gives you 17%, and then even your class mod that gives you 8%. You can cruise. And I'm going over here, gun damage on our 8%, but the most important one is the skill duration. You can even throw a point out from like somewhere else and put it in here for the extra duration and extra gun damage, because that duration is very, very needed for fadeaway. Hell of damage. All right, moving on, we have my final build the red tree the hunter tree i have two points in here just because you know when i'm mobbing you know you'll get extra damage from there and you do extra damage to maybe a beasts or humans or anything or when you kill them they give you a certain enemy i mean certain stacks if i kill a bunch of beasts i get an extra movement speed I'm gonna have, this one is like a must on flak leave no trace when Flak scores a critical hit, there's a chance for one ammo to be added to the magazine, so I have a 36% chance. I do have other class mods that I will show you on later that increase this and increase other abilities, so I can get some really crazy builds going. Uh, this one counters heal skill, might as well just throw a point in there for extra load speed. 
This one's really important head count. Whenever Clack scores a critical hit, there's a chance their action school down, skill cooldown is reduced. That reduction chance is 30 chance percent, and that's by two seconds. Two whole seconds. So this gets fade away, come back quick, quick, quick. See, it's on this cooldown in 45 seconds. I'll show you later how fast it can cool down. So another shot to, I mean, a chance to fire an extra projectile, that's 35%. Usually be 25%, but 35 as a third every shot is basically an extra shot, and that's really good. I increase my hunter skills for a longer effect and have longer duration. So that includes the reload speed, the extra damage, and then even more stacks. Moving on to increase critical head damage. That's just in general a good one to have for flat catcher. 15% It's pretty good. And then Grim Harvest, just in general, gun damage and action skill damage increased by 20%. Gun damage 12. And the one that really matters, the Megavore. I have a chance to crit with weapons against any part of enemies. That's a 20% chance. So that is my skill tree build. Moving on to my weapons. Here's my guy. I have the Masher, probably one of the top tier guns in the game, even top tier for flak. 571 times 5, I've done a lot of farming. Moving on to this, I believe, I'll do another video about this. Wow, they nerfed that so bad. It was originally stuck Gyro Jets increased damage by 2%. It was originally 7%. It's still good for the build I have, and I'll show you why. Because when you shoot this thing, because I have the chance to crit, each times 18 have a crunch to hit. Also, the original shot right there, all those 18 bullets, they have a shot, a cr chance to crit. Then, the explosion, whenever they happen, all those explosions have also a chance to crit. So that's 36 bullets you're shooting in one shot that can all have a chance to crit, which will also all reduce your cooldown rate right here. Um, where is it? Right there. By two seconds each. And so that's, I can't even tell you how fast it comes back. It's ridiculously well. And this thing can actually pop up a lot of damage. I'm trying to get a level 51 right now. I'm only, I have, it's so hard to find, so hard. Moving on to, I'd say the best gun with flak in the game, King's Call. Which I've been farming for many, many times. And this, I think, is one of the perfect King's Calls. as 1060 damage, and I have gotten four other King's Calls like that. As you can see, it's just damage, damage, boost. This thing, I believe the barrel is always the same. Because I've ever seen always this barrel the same, which is unfortunate. But then the grip goes up, the hammer for extra damage, and the magazine for more damage. So that is that. And as you can see, I have eight bullets in my thing, and it originally says six. Is that, I'll move on to that. Everybody's Wrath, 2,000 times seven rocket launcher. Goes like this. Vortex grenade. Whatever tracks in that area, you just chuck those rockets and destroys them. Absolutely destroys them. Moving on to my shield. I use a shield Basically all the time, except for I'm using my speed build. Uh, I sold my shield in accident, sadly. But it would give me 17% movement speed, plus my other movement speed in the game. I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, it's very crazy. Moving on my grenade, I have the Quasar right now. Sometimes I switch it off with the Merv Heck, the Firestorm, if I'm going against some flesh. The God is very good, or I really like the Stormfront. That thing's very good. Moving on to an item that I believe I got in the campaign. Now this thing is very, very hard to find. I have found many other class mods similar to this, but not with the same skills of the two fang and then the extra movement speed and gun damage. So it's really rare. And as you can see, I get 18% weapon damage and extra grenade radius. Who cares about the shield and the vault weapon? I don't really use those. And finally, my relic, or yeah, artifact. It's the only thing I'm using this for is the magazine size, the 38% magazine size. So it's an extra bullet with this. As you know, this King Saul has two bullets originally. And it gets a whole extra bullet to crit and damage. My master originally has six and has eight now. So it's two extra shots. And my this usually has five and has six. So that's an extra for critical hit damage. 
moving on to my guns, some of these guns I do not use. Some of them I have them for certain mayhem modifiers. The crossroad. This thing is a beast. It's also a beastmaster anointed. It's a times four SMG that literally just demolishes. Look at that. So getting crits with this thing, very easy. It's getting to 67 bullets in my thing. Moving on to the cloud kill, level 50. Very good. Very, very destructive versus anyone with armor. Uh, my Layuda. This is the gun I use a lot, of, or my rock launcher, to get up. As you can see, it's 1,130 times 2. So, and all those split. Very easy to get up with this if you're down. Does a lot of damage. I have the double pantry and echo just to have it. I have my sniper, Dastardly Muckamuck. I've been grinding hard for this one. I think there's one more Muckamuck above this one that will have around 4,000 damage. As you can see, I have 21% crit and 83 weapon damage. 3,800 damage. That's just crazy. I have a Butcher for fire if I ever need that. I have Narcross Road for fire if I need that. The Jackhammer. This gun I also switch out sometimes. This gun, very good. Because I have my extra mag. This is like... Each one of those explosions do about like 10k damage, sometimes even more. So just douche, douche, douche. Destroys bosses, bunch of mobs in the same area. I will always whip this out, just start chucking it. If I'm down, this gun's really good to get up. Uses a lot of ammo when you're loading, but it saves your life so much. It's very good. Moving on, I'm going to my crossroads, yep. Uh, expert firestorm. This I've been trying to play around with make a build with my sniper build as you can see huge splash radius and lots of damage destroys moving on we have the infinity pistol that's just you know gotta have it because i gotta have it and it's really good because i have unlimited ammo obviously i can get unlimited crits obviously um it's just a really good gun and plus i stand still my fire gets increased see normally when i stand still I should probably load. Load my gun for extra fire rate swap. Mm, that one's pretty slow. That one's actually really slow. That's really slow, dang. Anyways, I have it just because it's a infinity pistol. Butcher, the devil's foursome. This thing is a beast. That's what it does. Combines too. I mean, you can also like if anything's around it, you know, it'll happen. But you get the perfect. Distance, boof, 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 destroys. Takes one shot only. Very good. I uh, have my Queen's Call, like I said, my King's Call. Just I have a. I believe this is the highest damage you can get on any Queen's Call, is 1017. Because I've been farming, 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 and all my Queen's Calls have been at 1017. I'm still gonna do some more farming, but I still believe that this is the highest damage you can get. And that one's, um, yeah. So 1017, I have the radiation one. I have the 10 turbo gallon, that's just for extra weapon damage, 96, you know, it's good. The affinity again, obviously that one's faster. Jericho, I just have that in there just because I need to put it in my vault. Hellwalker, very good shotgun, I'm sure if anyone sees this. Double shot. Lots of damage. Very good shotgun. Let's see what else. These are my few builds I have with them. So I'm not really using this for the skills. It's hunter skill part increased by 25, you know, not that big to me. But I use it for the abilities, the percentages. The 25 Jacobs weapon reload speed, which are both of my shotguns, or both of my pistols, and sometimes even my shotgun. And then the 31% pistol damage. That's just insane. So all these pistol damages are going to be doing way more. The one I currently have is 18% weapon damage. But I like this one for the two fang and then the extra movement speed. Plus the additional, I believe, about 15% damage. So that balances out because of my uh, the two points in my class mod. Balances out roughly with the weapon damage combined to equal to the 30%. But when I do switch around my build and stuff, I'm going to play around with that. This one also is just for health regeneration and for critical hit damage. I mean, that's not much critical hit damage, but we'll move on to the other ones, which I'll show you have a lot. There's the King's Call, like I said, 1068. 
1068. I think the King's Call has more damage overall, and the Queen's Call will always be 1017, the best version. I have the Duck, very good pistol. It shoots and explodes after a little bit, and very high damage, 2400. You know, 93% weapon damage, very nice. Max out Baby Maker, just have that, just to have in here. Uses tons and tons of ammo, I would not recommend it. The Shred Tungun Tungusta, very good. For nothing, psych, look at the damage, only 1,000, only about 5,000, and it splashes up into the air. Well, this thing, 2,000 times 7, you know, that's 14,000 damage, way better. And we'll go on to the Unforgiven, if you use this with the Flacker, actually, when you shoot your Flacker, swap to your Unforgiven, that's 340% critical hit damage, and since 20%, you know, of I actually might use this with this thing and it actually might be pretty good actually I might have to try that out actually and there's the lab which is just a shotgun because it has the alien head the Gatling gun obviously Jacobs ricochet all the bullets flacker beast gun we all know that uh, just to have that just cuz the firestorm went through my nades already uh, my idols here we go 17% pistol damage so that's a good one. But currently I have is the magazine size. So if I need more pistol damage or if I'm mobbing, I might use this one because I get 18% of my health after killing an enemy. Also, we have this one. This is for not me, my brother. This one's my sniper damage one, 17%. And then I have a class mod in my vault that gives me an extra 31% sniper damage. And last but not least, we have my luck relic. So I, this increases your luck, your chances of dropping any legendaries or anything. Decreases your health a lot, 75%. So as you can see, my health is 7,000. And if I equip this, it goes to 1,700. So yeah, not the greatest. But you do use, I have the relics in my vault right now, but it's for uh, movement speed. So I can be speedy speed. Now, to show you why this shotgun is probably one of the best things to grab, watch. We'll use my alt right here. Now, we'd say it takes 45 seconds, roughly, correct? We'll drop down the boss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seconds. So there you have it. If you just want to see a little action of this build, there's that damage right there. Fairy destruction. A little Tyreen kill with the video. If you guys haven't watched my one minute Tyreen, and you see crits is what matters about this gun. Switch back to this, get my ult back like that, and proceed to destroy. this one quick. A little speed kill on Tyrene right here with the build to just show off how good it is. And there you have it. They have nerfed the drop rate if you didn't know, so I don't know who I'm going to be farming this person still. But yeah, there you go. There you have it. Enjoy. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and if it helps you out.